Hi friends, I am going to read to you Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. I know we have this in our classroom. It's a very popular book. Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin and the pictures by Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. He doesn't look very happy, does he? At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Where's he going? Is he going to the barn? He's going to find out what's happening. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. That's what they used that typewriter for. They wrote him a, net, a letter. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No electric blankets, so the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. What do you think Farmer Brown thought of that? No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. So it says the hens are on strike. When you're on strike, you are stopping your work because um, there's usually a reason why, a cause. So he's furious. He's very angry. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The ultimatum is when you say, do this or else. Farmer Brown was not happy. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. See the animals? Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. They all have on blankets now. The chickens and the cows. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. 
clickety clack quack. And this is showing him jumping off. That means he got the diving board. And that is the end of our book. I hope that you enjoyed.